Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you may be listening today. Welcome to Play by Play, or PXP for short. Look, I'm super excited that you joined us today. Today's episode is going to be all about why you should quit. Yeah, you heard me right. You ready to get started? All right, here we go. Well, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. That's what day it is as we're recording this in the studio. Today's episode is going to focus on why you should quit. Yeah, I said that right. When the going gets tough, the best thing might be to just quit. Throw in the towel. Okay, do I have your attention now? I bet I do. And you're probably thinking, okay, this guy is nuts. He is definitely not who I thought he was. He don't think like I thought he did. But hold on. Wait a second, before you hit the stop button, let me share some experiences with you. Let me share a a specific experience with you and give you some context about what I'm talking about, okay? Yesterday, I was in the claw office. That's what I call the studio where I'm at. It's actually just my closet, which is my closet office, and so I call it the claw office. Anyway, I was in the claw office, and I was trying to record a podcast, and my general process for recording a podcast is is I, I jot down some loose notes or you know an outline that I'll follow. I usually type that up in, in the computer, and I'm just putting down some just general notes, just some bullet points so that I can you know try to stay on track to a, some degree. So when I'm prepping for one of, our, one of my episode topics, it normally takes me about 15, maybe 20, 30 minutes at the most. And if I'm really inspired, something that I'm, I'm really passionate about or I'm excited about, Um, I can do it even faster than that. You know, it might take me five minutes or I might not even put an outline together. I may just start talking. But this day, I struggled to put anything down on paper. I I mean, I was was struggling just to get, you know, the first couple bullet points. I wrote some stuff down. uh, I deleted it. I wrote some more stuff down and I deleted it. I did this for over an hour. And I got to the point where I just said, screw it. I'm just going to start recording. So that's what I did. So I fired up my recording equipment. Um, I opened up Audacity on my computer. That's the program I use to record. I put on my headphones, and I just started talking. And I would record for a few minutes, and then I would stop. I would delete that, and I'd start over. I did that a bunch of times, and and sometimes just because of brain block. um, You know, I may have just lost my train of thought, and sometimes it was because of distraction. There was something going on. I might have heard a noise, or I saw something out the window, or someone you know, came into the office and, and uh, needed something. And most of the time, everyone's pretty good about leaving me alone. But if they don't know I'm recording, they may bust up in here and uh, and just, you know, it's just a distraction. Um, I might get two minutes in. Uh, sometimes I got 10 minutes in. But each time I thought, this is the absolute worst podcast that I've ever recorded. And if I publish this, I'm not going to keep a single follower of the podcast. And, and, and don't get me wrong. My goal is not to get numbers. Uh, my goal is to reach people and to pour into them, but I can't do that unless there's people listening to the podcast. Um, if I can help one person with a podcast, then I find fulfillment in that. My fulfillment comes when I can pour into people and help them to become better versions of themselves. Now, get this, and and you might think I'm crazy, but I don't listen to my podcast before I publish them. I record them. I'll apply some post-production editing to the audio file that'll filter out some of the stray noises or make the volume level across the whole audio file, make it consistent so you don't get a lot of variation in volume when you listen. And then I just publish it. And in fact, uh, rarely do I ever go back and listen to the podcast after they're live. Sometimes, occasionally I will, but most of the time I don't. I just rely on you, uh, the listeners, to let me know if I've said something that's been crazy or Uh, something that didn't make sense. And I occasionally get a message from somebody and it says, hey, did you mean to say X, Y, Z or whatever it was? Sometimes I meant to say it and sometimes I didn't. Uh, If if it's not going to be something that's going to uh, steer somebody in the wrong direction, if you will, um, if I I didn't just really misspeak in such a way that um, it's going to take someone down the wrong path of some some topic I'm talking about, I'm probably not going to fix it. And that's just how it works here at PXP. I just, that's how I roll. Okay, so yesterday I was getting super frustrated. Um, I've always told myself, 
and, and I've had trouble, you know, recording in the past. It, it just happens, right? I mean, you get brain block, you get sidetracked, frustrated, you get um, uh, distracted, you lose your train of thought. And I've always told myself, just keep recording, right? Um, you know, we tell basketball players, just keep shooting. We tell baseball players, just keep swinging. We tell runners, don't stop moving. Even if you have to slow down, don't stop. Keep moving forward. So that's what I was doing. Here's the thing, though. I wasn't getting any closer to having a viable product that I was going to be able to publish. I was getting further and further away, and I was getting more and more frustrated. So I quit. I shut down Audacity. I powered off my console. I hung up my headphones, and I walked away. That was the first time in over a year that I couldn't produce a piece of content for the show. But I knew in that moment, I knew that I was not going to get to the point of success if I kept on going down the path. I was only going to create more frustration, and that was frustration that I was going to have to overcome to get back in the saddle again. Now, you've heard me talk about decision fatigue. It's been a while, but I I have talked about it extensively on the podcast. I'm not going to go into it too deep today, but the general idea is that your brain can only handle so many decisions in a day, and then it goes into kind of coast mode, if you will. Um, You can still do work, and, and you can do okay, But your ability to make good decisions, to make high-level decisions, important decisions, especially the ability to come up with new or fresh or innovative ideas, that that stuff is significantly diminished. And every person is different. So some people say, well, how many decisions do I get? I don't know how many decisions you get. I don't even know how many I get because each decision fatigues you a little bit more. Each, Each project or each task that you do, it fatigues you a little bit more. But for for me, yesterday was a pretty heavy think day in the morning. I had a lot of things that were going on. uh, And and it was a, I was mentally fatigued by the time afternoon rolled around. Now, I'm a morning person anyway. And so I try to record in the mornings if possible. But I mean, that doesn't always work. In fact, right now, as I record this, it's afternoon. Uh, But I try to record in the mornings if I can. I think better. I'm clearer. um, I have better recall. My thoughts flow more fluidly, if that's even a word. Uh, so certainly I knew I was at decision fatigue when I was trying to record, and I knew that didn't help any. And in addition to the decision fatigue, I was working on the initial podcast or the, the intro podcast, if you will, to the new series that we're launching on the accountability playbook, the book that I'm writing or the manual that I'm writing to help leaders hold their teams accountable. And getting that initial episode of the series recorded, I didn't think it was going to be as challenging as it was, and it turned out to be much more challenging than I expected. So now that you have some context into what I meant when I said quitting, listen, I want you to understand something. It's okay to quit. It's okay to throw in the towel, but only for a brief time, right? Only with the intention of getting back in the saddle when your mind clears or when the situation changes, or when it's a new day, or when the timing is right. Listen, there's nothing worse than forcing something that is wrong and trying to force it into, you know, right now. It's like trying to take a, you know, a round peg and put it in a square hole, or a square peg and put in a round hole, I guess is the way it should go. Taking a break is okay. Letting your mind refresh, it's okay. I want you to give yourself permission to do that if that's needed. You know, I do sports commentary um, as well, and I, and I was calling a basketball game last night, and one of the players was trying his best to make some three-point shots. But unfortunately, it was not his night for the threes. Now, this kid, you know, has had other nights where he was just draining the threes. Um, so it's not a matter of being able to make the three. It's There's just times when you need to accept that the present reality is not what you'd like it to be, and you need to focus on what you can be successful at. And for him, last night, he was doing a great job driving the lane and making some points, and he was getting fouled, and that was sending him to the free throw line. He was getting some more points there, and so that's where he was being, you know, he had success in the game. It wasn't in shooting the threes, not last night. There's just times when that's just not our thing, right, when when it's just not our night. And just like him, there's times in our lives when we don't need to try to force what isn't there. We need to take what's given to us and be successful at that. We need to be the very best at what we're able to do at that given circumstance. And for me, I was trying to force a podcast episode, and look, it just wasn't there. 
I mean, my willpower wanted to record. I felt like I needed to, but my brain, it was on a different planet. So I threw in the towel, but just for that day. And today I jumped back in the saddle. I fired up the studio and I started recording again. And this time those struggles that were so prevalent yesterday, they were gone today. Yesterday was a bad day, but today is a new day, right? I didn't know whether today was going to be a good day, but I knew it was a new day. Yesterday, not so much. Today, it's a new day. The same thing can be true in your life. Today might not be the day that you hoped for, but tomorrow can be. Maybe you didn't get the home run today, but you got several singles and a double. Be thankful that you didn't strike out, maybe, right? Maybe you didn't win that big sale, but you got a few small ones, and that kept the doors open and the power on. Look, don't beat yourself up over a bad experience or a less than productive day. Sometimes the best thing we can do is throw in the towel for the day and start fresh tomorrow. Well, folks, that's all the time I've got for today. Thanks for listening to PXP. And as always, if you enjoyed the podcast, please share it with your circle. Chances are that they're going to like it too. More than anything, though, I hope that something that was said today helps you to become a better version of yourself. I'm your host, Jamie Yarrow, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day.